up. You're not hanging that flag in here. Well, of course I am. Blanche, do you know what this flag represents? This flag belonged to big, big granddaddy Hollinsworth. He used to bring it to all our fine old southern family picnics where all the cousins would gather. Everybody was courteous and mannerly, and gentlemen would ask ladies for the favor of a dance. And Cousin Rex would be home on vacation from Colonel Bob's school for bad boys. Wait a minute, now I get it. This is just good old-fashioned fun. Yeah! Okay, we'll say. How about on Tuesday nights we hang the Nazi flag, hire an oompa band, and dress you up like Eva Braun? This is not the same as the Nazi flag. Yeah, well, it is to me, Blanche. Look, when you look at this flag, you see some southern fairy tale with a guy who looks like Burl Ives dressed in a white suit, tipping his hat to you, saying, Evening, Miss Blanche. Evening. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Roland. You were making a point. That's not funny, Blanche. Well, that's ancient history, and you know it. Things aren't like that anymore. You did the right thing, Rose. I did? I did the right thing. I did? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes what you believe is more important than business. Although what some people believe is unbelievable. Now, Roland, I am not some kind of bigot because I love this flag and I resent that implication. You just stop that right now. Oh, yes, ma'am, Miss Devereaux. <laughs> oh, Roland don't want to cause you no trouble at all. <laughs> you hold on to that one. He's a good one. What did you say? He's a good one. Roland, wait. Hey, Roland, I don't feel like that woman in there. I don't feel that way at all. But can't you see, Blanche, that flag ties what you believe and what she believes together. Look, I'm telling you, the legacy of that flag is alive every time I walk down the street with a group of my friends and I see a white person cross over to the other side because they're afraid. Or look, when I'm in the elevator with somebody like you and you're all huddled over in the corner wondering what I'm going to do, sometimes I just want to go, Flag there! Oh. <laughs> Just to break the tension. So please don't tell me about that flag. I've battled that flag all my life. Look, Roland, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything you have been through. But what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to think about all my family, all my friends? All right. When I was in school, maybe I was a little less sensitive than I could have been. But... Yeah, but I was just doing what all my friends were doing. They were my friends. And we were just acting like everybody we knew acted. Oh, and then that, when I had my first baby, well, the hospital was packed, and, uh, and I had to share a room with a young black woman. George made a big stink about the accommodation she had to have heard him. And I know her baby was every bit as cute as mine. Cuter, in fact. Rebecca was an ugly baby. <laughs> Turned out fine. Ugly baby. You can get an idea of how she looked if you catch Sophia some morning with her teeth out. <laughs> the point is, what am I supposed to do and think about my family now? What am I supposed to, to think about all those people I love? What am I supposed to think about me? Everything I grew up believing in. All my wonderful memories. They're, they're all tarnished now by... God, <laughs> by the truth, I owe you an apology. No, you don't owe me that. Will you stay? Blanche, you really have to start listening to me when I tell you something is bothering me. And I'll try to understand why some of these things mean so much to you. Look, the whole world is messed up right now, and I would like to see that get better, but in order for that to happen, white people are going to have to start making positive assumptions when they see people of color. And people of color could make positive assumptions when they see white people. 